Thank you all for coming. Let me start by asking you all a question. Why did you come here? Hey! Oh my god, you look atrocious. You look like an undercover pedophile. You need to change. Anyways, I'm late. I have to go. I just want to- I told you to get here earlier. Well, I didn't. I'll see you later. Can we go over the script? I still feel like it's missing something. It's fine, Wayne. Why are you here? Is it because you feel tired, lost, depressed? I already know the answer is yes. You have decided to spend your Saturday with an inspirational speaker. You're a loser. Actually, you could stand to be a bit more approachable. You're an asshole. I'm supposed to be an asshole. It's my job. You have to be likable. Wait, please. I need some advice. I want to fit in. Here's some advice. Fix the suit, fix the speech, and buy me dinner. You're a loser. Be more approachable. But that's not an insult. Knowing you're a loser is the first step to not being a loser. I should know. I was the biggest loser out of all of us. Listen to me. I grew up around success. My friends, my family, hell, the entire neighborhood I grew up in was practically a yacht club. I went to college. I tried studying business, law, I tried advertising, marketing, medicine, it didn't matter. None of it felt like me. And even after six years, I left without a degree because I couldn't escape the feeling that nothing mattered. In fact, I felt completely empty. So I gave up. I ran back to daddy's money. And where did that bring me? An even darker place. I spiraled looking for anything to spark me. But all I found was cheap food, cheap ideas, cheap friends, cheap sex, cheap drugs. There were days when I was filled with enough shit to kill a horse. But how could you blame me? I had done everything right, and still I was left with no meaning, no purpose, no passion. Passion, that's it. That's what I had been missing. I had been following this hoax of a life. I had been following this hoax that was never gonna work out for me. From the moment I was born, society handed me this blueprint for success that if I went to college and got a good job, a big house, a beautiful wife, then I would be happy living the dream. But it's all a big lie, and I'm sure you felt it too. That, that constant nagging feeling of emptiness is because I, like you, was tricked by the world we lived in. I had been deceived. Even if you have those things, it will never be enough because none of it matters. None of it matters. None of it. None, none of, of it. Any real meaning matter. at all. Let me tell you a story about Brian. Brian had a purpose. Brian knew his passion. Brian was the world's best neurosurgeon. To you boneheads, that means brain surgeon. He made millions and saved thousands of lives while doing it, but none of that mattered because surgery was his passion. He became a philanthropist, head of the hospital. Hell, he was even running for Congress when things started to go downhill for Brian. You see, he was unlucky enough to develop Parkinson's disease. You can only imagine how difficult brain surgery would be for someone with shaky hands. Despite being the world's best, he was fired on the spot cast aside like it was nothing. Brian went home with enough financial compensation to carry his family for the rest of their lives. But that didn't matter because Brian lost his passion. He had no purpose. Everything else lost its meaning and slowly but surely the life drained out of Brian. He had all of this pent up energy that he used to use to save lives, to change the world, just stuck inside him until until he took it out on his wife and child. You could never imagine how much pain a neurosurgeon can inflict. Brian was a hero. When he lost his passion, he became a monster. So fuck it. Brian gave up, but you and I, we won't. Your passion is predetermined. It is buried 
deep within your soul. It is your destiny and responsibility to find and fulfill your passion. No matter what people say, it is part of us. It is buried deep within our soul. And even if people are scared, no matter what they say, we have to fight. We have to pursue our passion. My name is Wayne Patrick. Thank you. I know you've heard that speech before, but I just think it's so important. I wanted you to hear it one more time before you're gone. You know. But as a little treat, I'll let you in on a secret. I'm the kid in that story. Brian was my father, and I watched him lose his passion, lose everything. And I tried so hard to keep that from happening to me. And I realized I wasn't running towards something, I was just running away. When I look back at how he hurt me and my mom, all I can remember is how good he was at it. How I wanted to be that good at something. Here's some advice. Fix the suit, fix the speech, and buy me dinner. When I look back at how he hurt me and my mom, all I can remember is how good he was at it. How I wanted to be that good at something. And now, I finally am! <laughs> Brian gave up, but you won't. You will go on to move mountains. You, each and every one of you, deserves happiness. And your passion is what you need to follow in order to achieve said happiness. Despite any obstacle in your way, fight to the death if need be. Fight to claim your passion. And then, all of you will succeed. So now that you see how important it is, you know. It's a part of our identity. And then I would say, my name is Wayne Patrick, and I'm going to kill each and every one of you. This is my passion. My name is Wayne Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.